it's another K-Town beat. YouTube, 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 YouTube. It's your boy, Mr. Outliner. I'm back. Hey, today I'm gonna show y'all how to fix a bad haircut as a barber or even how to fix it yourself. Fix a bad haircut yourself at home. Now, the problem that this guy is having that whoever he's been going to or whatever place he's going to, he always asks for a taper, but they bring the taper too high. See that? So you see all the bulk right there now. It's nothing that I can do about how high the taper is, but I can make it look more fluent. I can make it look more blended and, you know, give him, give him a look. You know what I mean? You need to get that to it. But anyway, so comment and I want to, you see what I'm pointing at? I want to remove that bulk or hit the taper. And that's what we're going to do. So the first thing I want to do is grab my trimmers and I want to create my first guideline because we still want to give them a clean look. So I don't think sideburns are needed here. So we didn't do that. So hit them with the trimmers, make your first guideline, guideline, come back with your shavers, right? Come back with your shavers and you start hitting them up with the shavers to get it extra close. After that, we want to work on removing the bulk. So I'm going to take a three guard right here, right? And open. And we're going to flick, use a flicking motion to get it out. I could have used clip overcome, but I'm showing you a way that's, it's, it's kind of safer this way. So uh, if you're at home, you can just use the biggest guard that you, you have and try to remove the bulk. So you just using the three guard and I'm flicking it out at the same time and I'm not trying to go up high, I'm just focusing on the line where the bulk is, you know, I just want to fade that out. And it, you know, the problem I had with this client, he just didn't keep his head straight where I needed it to be. So I'm doing a lot of just, you know, repositioning his head the whole time, but you want to calm it down at the same time as you're blending it in, feathering it in, you know, so, and then I came back with the two guard right here after I used the three. So, again, we're still working on that bulk line. We're not trying to go up higher. We just want to remove that bulk and we want it to blend. So, I'm using the two guard, corners of the blade mostly, not the whole, not the blade, the corners of the guard, but I'm using that. And, and that's all I'm doing because I just want to feather it out because if you try to do anything, you're just going to keep making a line, keep making a line. So make sure when you're not trying to create a line that you come through and use the corners of the guards or the blade, whatever you're using, use the corners of it and it'll help create a softer look, right? So after that, I got it kind of down to where I feel like this control is blended. Now I come back no guard on my uh, magic clip and we're just gonna fade that bottom line out that first guideline and you know it's kind of I got it midway open and I'm using the corner of the blades again because I don't want to create another line right and if I do I don't want it to be heavy I want to ever work it out and you see what I'm doing right here it's just the corners of the blade corners of the blade that's it for, for a bad haircut when you see an area that's you know, bulky or, you know, it's hard to remove a line, try using the corners. Because if you use the corners, it'll help you out. You see what I did right there, boom. And it's, it's pretty much done, but I'm sure, you know, sometimes when you make a hard line, a hard guideline, you have to use exactly what you put it in with to remove it. Because that's the only thing that matches the length. And right here, just to get a little bit better blend, I use my half guard because the half guard, especially with straight hair, is your best friend, right? And you know, I'm learning that over time, becoming the barber who I need to become. But you know, so the half guard is your friend and it's gonna help soften the blend even more. And that's what we're trying to do. So look, you just, Use the corner, and like I said, I'm gonna come back with my trimmers, and I'll use the corner of that blade 
to remove any type of hard line that I see from what I already created. As you can see that it's, it's removing it. So you see the fade, it got cleaner, you know what I mean? It got cleaner. And I, I went back in and I touched it up with some of my other, you know, the guards that we just used just to remove a little bulk. But this is, that's mainly how you fix it. Now on the other side, I speed it up just a little bit. So, but it's the same motion, same technique. So I'm gonna speed it up, but I'll still walk you through it. So we comb it, you see the bulk now. This side was much worse than the other side. You see how high this side is? This side is actually worse, you know what I mean? Because it's hard for me to make it match without putting it the other side, without changing the other side to this because they went up so high on it. Uh, and the bulk is heavier on this side than it was on the other side. So this is the real reason why it has to be fixed. And I'm using the three guard right here still feathering you know what i mean so like i said and you can use clip over comb like i started to do right there or you could just you know take your time uh take your time with it and do the guard you know big guard to smaller guard whatever so i do use a little clip over comb over here and that's really because the bulk is outrageous over here so sometimes a guard won't help you some people might use thinning shears uh, and what you use for bulk and they'll just you know use that part but i'm kind of old school so i don't really use that uh not saying that it's not a useful tool because it is it's just not something that i do because i really just use clip on the tongue right so but anyway you see what i'm doing with it the blend is still coming out nice you know what i mean even though I, once you remove the bulk everything gets easier right and but that's the hard part removing it and making the transition into a fade you know so this wasn't a, a really hard uh haircut to fix but the principles that i'm giving you about how to approach it how to fix a haircut uh, can go towards any any type of you know situation where the haircut is you know too much bulk or too high, too low, whatever, you know what I mean? You can always fix it. I came back, used my trimmers, made the first guy line, come back, and you know, use the shaver. Same thing we did on the other side. I kind of, the bulk was bothering me so much, I had to remove that first. So normally I would do that first guy line, then do my, you know, my shavers and all that, but I kind of did a little bit in reverse because of the bulk. But I came back, no blade, corners of the blade, you see I'm still moving it. So anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to just talk about, the principles, the technique, some of the stuff that, you know, you use in order to help you even fade better. You know what I mean? So, uh, you see, and like I said, the haircut is coming out good. Now, I, I was going to show the back, but I'm not, I'm going to make this video a little shorter because... I think I got my point across on what I was trying to do, but I will show you the back at the end just to show you what it looked like. But uh, I'll show you the front and what I did with the edge up, hit them with the razor, let them be out. So right here, I'll show you the back. It's faded, you see how I faded the back? I used the same technique that I used on the sides. And now I'm just lining them up, getting them ready. And these wild detailers are perfect but this type of haircut because they, it's the long tooth blade, his hair is long, uh, and it just grabs this particular type of hair better in a lot of cases, and this is straight hair. So it, you see I'm just tapping and it's, it's really going, you know what I mean? And I don't have them super, super zero gap. They come zero gaps already, even though I adjusted it a slight bit myself, if you watch one of my old videos, uh, just a slight bit myself, but not too short because the thing about the detailer blade, it can be really sharp. Like you have to be careful. You don't want to completely zero gap like you do some of these other trimmers because you will cut somebody. And right here, you just want to stay on the natural line, you know, as much as possible. And, you know, you can see I'm going over it slightly a couple times. That's because 
uh, like I said, I don't have it completely zero gap, but I have it set to my liking and I can use it on anybody. And you see like he's not turning red or anything like that because my trimmers are too short. You, you want it all to be natural. They don't feel it. Everything's good. So you're working on that little C cup right there and I just take my time with it. And you should too, just take your time with it. Uh, rest your hand and you know, try to, everything is right there. It's kind of outlined for you already. All you have to do is, it's like a copy and trace, but you just sharpening up the edges. Now on this side, it got a little blurry, but uh, you can still see it, but uh, you see where I'm placing the blade and I'm pulling out, well, inward towards his nose because if I'm pushing back towards his ears, you push his hairline back. So you, you place your blade and you pull it towards the, the middle of the head, the nose, you know, and you're just tapping it, you know, and using the sharpest parts of your trimmer to get sharp lines, right? That makes sense, right? Now for the front, this edge up is cool. Uh, they did do that part mainly correct. Uh, I just put a little holding spray, comb it down. I see a little bit. I just want to kind of make it a little sharper, bring it up just a tad bit. And, you know, it's hard getting this, this camera angle for y'all. But anyway, so uh, you just tapping, right? You just tapping it and making everything uh, go smooth, just like the size of the hair, right? And the thing about this, when they have long hair like this, uh, the bangs are hanging over. You just, you know, I, I like to make everything sharp as possible, you know. So that's my thing. So with, with this type of hair that's hanging over and you're not li really looking at the natural, uh, the natural line of a person, right? This natural hairline, uh, you know, you have to be creative and look at it and you know, try to visualize it even more. So, so, but that's what we did. We, we worked on it and, you know, take your time with it. it. There's no need to rush on the edge of the edge of is the thing that edge of shape up, line up, I don't know what you call it. But this is the thing that I probably take the most time on uh, because this is the thing that you want to get right the most. So, you know, every head is not flat. Every surface is not flat and where everything is going to be picture perfect so understand that don't be too hard on yourself but you know try to get it as close as possible you know what i mean so and, and you know they'll love it so you can always change it if you need to go back if somebody wants to wider i did a, a receding hairline video and somebody said her uh, uh, field goals her lines were too close in together, but she wanted a natural mind of it just to see how it looked. And that's what I did. You know, a lot of times, as long as the client is happy, that's really all that matters. And that's all that you can focus on because that's who pays you at the end of the day. And for yourself, you know, the same for yourself at home, just take your time with it, visualize it, look at it, use the mirror. The mirror is your friend, right? So anyway, this is the video, um, how to fix a haircut. I haven't forgot about my 20K giveaway. I kind of being lazy, I ain't gonna lie to you because I just need to get it together and just post it. But uh, it will be coming. I'm gonna put myself on a deadline and say by this Sunday, I have it up. So look out for it and um, you know, be prepared to win some clippers and stuff. I told you I got those cordless scenes that I'm giving away. So yeah, I'm gonna give out a couple more other things too, I just say. You know, I got some barber socks, I got some razors, I got a couple things. But anyway, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. You know how we do it. Until next time, love, peace, and hair grease.